Who cares? Look up the definition of care or caring, and you get a very unclear understanding of the word. Definitions are pretty polar. Feeling trouble or anxiety on one hand, one of the definitions. Feeling interest or concern on the other. Years ago, I learned a definition of a great relationship from a mentor of mine. He told me that a great relationship, he was talking partners, spouses, teammates, etc., depends on high levels of trust, caring, and commitment. Trust is a component of a good relationship is found in almost all team development and indeed marriage counseling literature. It's the foundation of Lencioni's five dysfunctions of the team. Without trust, it's, it's hard to build a functioning team where it can be said the total equals more than the sum of its parts. For a treatise on trust, read this month's article below. Commitment is a pretty concrete term. You either are or you aren't, and it usually shows when demonstrated. But caring, in most of the literature that I've read over the past 20 years anyway, is a pretty fuzzy term. I've had corporate clients tell me, golly, I wish I could get my people to care more about the company or the goals or the quality of their own work. Do they want their people to feel increased trouble and anxiety? Well, I don't think so. So maybe it's they want more interest or concern. It's better, but that doesn't seem to really cover what they mean either. What does it mean to care about your work, your significant other, your team and its goals, your possessions? See, I don't see caring as a yes or no position. I care more about some things and less about others. I even care more for some people and less for others. I could look you in the eye and tell you I care about you and not mention just not as much as my chihuahua. I see caring as a continuum from disdain through total engagement with apathy somewhere in the middle. Each is a level of caring. And it's a question of how much time, money, energy, mental tenacity am I willing to invest in this person, project, or concept. So the question for me isn't who cares, it's who cares how much. Who's demonstrating an investment in time, money, energy, or mental tenacity to exhibit caring that much? If caring more can improve my environment, either me caring more or those around me doing so, then how can I become a better observer of who's making the investment to back up the pledge that I care. It's my experience that the words alone are neither clear in definition nor proven in action enough to be taken at face value. Do you care? It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.